I've just come here to update you about uh, the ceasefire that was declared yesterday by the President of the of Republic and replicated later by uh, the first Vice President, Dr. Machar. Uh, and, uh, and it is good news that it is holding because this morning there has not been uh, any gunshot anywhere. You people can attest to that. You, even there is no single uh, gunfire yesterday. Uh, soldiers were shooting randomly and were shooting up uh, in jubilation because uh, uh, they think this is the, the military situation. They think that they have, uh, they have done their best in the, in the fight against those who aggress them, the, the forces of Machar. But now is the time for diplomacy. Uh, President Salfakir is ready in, uh, is in the palace to wait for whoever wanted to come for a diplomacy and uh, uh, so that, um, you know, uh, the situation is fixed and, uh, and peace is salvaged. Um, uh, President from day one, President Salva Kiir from day one has been a man of peace and he has shown that on Friday uh, when uh, Dr. Machar remains with barely no single soldiers to guide him. But President Salva Kiir took care of him and uh, this to be shown to the world that President Salva Kiir did not want the peace to collapse because if, if he was to kill Machar, after Machar left with, with, no, anything, with, with no single soldier, he would have done that and, the, and peace would have, you know, virtually collapsed from that time. Now it is time for you people to be going out uh, to witness uh, the, uh, the cessation of hostilities that is holding. And uh, it will be you people to tell the world that, you know, uh, peace is holding in South Sudan. The international airport has opened for commercial flights. Um, and it is now easy for anyone traveling via and from, and uh, let's say uh, to and from uh, Juba uh, to, to do so. Uh, and, and, and peace, ceasefire is holding. Thank you.